Hi, my name is Bill Bradley. I'm an extreme endurance athlete, and this is my motivational video. The topic of today's video is don't care what other people think. Are you the type of person who kind of worries what everybody else thinks, you know, about you? And, you know, and so it kind of, that's how you direct your life. It kind of, that directs your life and what, what way you go is because how people think about you, what they think, and you're only going to do what they think positive about. Well, I'll tell you, I have definitely been that type of person. I'm definitely like, I've been kind of sensitive and thin skinned and, you know, can't really handle the criticism. And so, you know, I tend to go the direction or I've gone the direction of, you know, kind of worrying what other people think. Well, I'll tell you, I started out by breaking out of that because then I definitely do it for my bigger events. I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to do my bigger events. I'm going to climb, you know, Mount Denali in Alaska. I'm going to climb Everest. I'm going to swim frickin' the English Channel. I mean, I'm going to do whatever I want to do in that direction. But you know what I noticed is that when it comes to normal everyday life, I kind of worry what, I kind of was always worrying what people think, you know. And so I was, you know, kind of always thinking, oh, you know, about this or that or this and that. So, so how it started was I just started, I started, you know, I go, okay, I need to switch what people think. So I started wearing like my, my hat backwards, kind of a simple thing, you know. But I started, instead of wearing them forward more times than not, I'm going to wear them backwards now. Just because I always thought like, well, this, you know, these are really young guys do that, you know. You know, probably in their early 20s and their teens, you know, they're wearing their hat backwards. You know, guys my age, you don't really see it, you know. And then I thought to myself, I'll go, hell, I'm telling my subconscious brain that I'm 30 years old anyway. And 30 is like halfway to 20 almost. <laughs> so what the hell, I'm wearing my hat backwards. So I started wearing my hat backwards, you know. Started walking around and, and I wasn't worrying, you know. Like people go, hey, there's this guy who's... My conscious mind, I am, you know, over 50 in my conscious mind, but my subconscious mind believes that I'm, I'm 30. But so anyway, I'm walking around and I'm walking around with this, this hat on backwards and people kind of look at me, you know, a little bit funny, a little this, but you know what? You get used to it. You get used to it. And so I'm, so I'm working. I don't want to worry about whenever I think of anything that somebody's going to think, you know, think something about me, I'm going to do it. So remember, so this is, this is kind of an interesting thing. I went for a five and a half hour run. You know, I'm training now to climb Mount Denali in Alaska. I'm getting into running shape. I'm trying to drop a bunch of weight from the English Channel. And I went for a five and a half hour run, if you can call it a run. You know, at, at the weight I'm, you know, I, at 220 something pounds, it's kind of a, kind of a slog a little bit, but I was moving. And anyway, I remember I was running and I'm carrying a lot of weight. So I got some bounce going on, you know, it's a little bit of bounce and, uh, and I was running up in the hills, and I remember after a couple hours, I haven't I haven't hardly run at all in in, in in like I said almost a year and a half. And so I forgot to put like um, band aids on my nipples, you know, things to you know from the chafing. All of a sudden I feel like my nipples are going raw, and I'm like, oh my god, this really hurts. So the only thing I could do was take my shirt off, right? And I will tell you, in my life, I am not the type of guy who runs around or walks around without a shirt. In high school and, and, you know, and right after high school, I was extremely skinny, right? I was six foot two, 155 pounds, really skinny guy. Last eight years, you know, I'm carrying 40 to 50 more pounds than normal to swim the English Channel. You know, I'm carrying all this extra weight. So not the type of guy who wants to walk around without his shirt on, you know. And I'm not one of those type of guys who goes to a football game and puts that letter on his chest. Not quite that. <laughs> but anyway... I made up a mind that said, I was coming down that hill, you know, up above, there was nobody around, it didn't matter to me, but when I came down below, I normally would have put my shirt on, right, you know, and I would just dealt with the chafing for the last, you know, half hour or so, because that's where all the people are, they're down below near the bottom where this park is, and so when I got down there, though, I just started running, and I was like, you know, here I'm all kind of white running, and, uh, and, and a little bit of bounce going on, and I was just proud, I just said, just keep going, Bill, just keep going. And then I hit the road where I have to run another mile to my house and there's all these cars and I just ran down that road and I was just proud. I just said, be proud. At least you can run. <laughs> so anyway, and I didn't worry what people thought. And you know what? That builds the confidence. I can feel my confidence building with every step because I wasn't caring what people thought. If you don't care what think of people think, super powerful, super powerful. 
anyway. So don't care what people think. Fact is, if you start thinking that, you better do what I did. Get out there and run with some serious chub on you, whatever it does to get you in that uncomfortable zone. So if you're interested, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. If you have a comment or a question for me, please email me at epicbillbradley at gmail.com. And, or you can put it in the YouTube comment section. And if you're interested in me talking to your team, your group, your company, organization, please also email me at epicbillbradley at gmail.com and we will get you out some information. Thank you very much.